Hello friends, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. I'm Graz and let's see what we can do as a game developer. May be kind of scary, don't you think? Alright, so before we can start your adventure, we have to give our upcoming company a name. So, company name... How about... Uh, visual... Visual, not visual arts, maybe visual art, I don't know. Visual... Visual fun, why not? Visual fun... And I will be Graz, of course, a male developer. No! No, man, why did I hit that button? Herp derp, yeah, this is already off to a great <laughs> let's play. Of course. Uh, go with the dark hair. And we will go... No, I don't want to go with the sweater vest. Let's go with the blue shirt. Okay, that that's good. Visual fun will be good. Okay, oh, supporter. Okay, this is what you get for buying the game. So, check out the developer in the link below in the description area. Very, very interesting game to say the least. Okay, so first we will develop a game. For development, you can decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select what graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Okay, game number one. We will call this game what? First, let's pick a topic. Sports, military, medieval, or space. Hmm. Let's just go with medieval. Uh, let's see. Pick genre. We can do action. Or hmm. Simulation strategy. Strategy. Yes, medieval strategy. Pick platform. The G64 has the most market share. It's expensive. PC. Okay, let's go with PC first. So we'll do that, and we will create Dragon Wars. Or Dragon... Yeah, Dragon... Yeah, Dragon Wars. Who wouldn't want to play Dragon Wars? It'll be like a text-based simulation game, I suppose. Or RPG. Uh, text-based, of course. It's cheap. What can I say? Back then, that's all they had. Start development. Okay, so we got what? Design technology. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Okay. So, whatever we'd pick. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, press help button. Okay. So we got a text-based game. Medieval strategy. Okay, so... Gameplay, maybe not so much. Storyline, definitely important. Engine, meh. Let's just load up on story and quest, because, I mean, that's what it is about, right? Maybe a little bit more in a gameplay. I, I don't know. Hold on. Let's just reduce that a little bit. Reduce that. I'm thinking this might not be a bad idea. Oh, so many decisions. Okay, we'll just run with this. If it works, we might be good. If it doesn't, then I'm a horrible game creator. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you'll generate game points, which you can see build bubbling up. Game points are divided in design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Gotcha. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs need to be fixed before the game can be released, and increase development time and cost. Eww, okay, we got what? One bug so far. Everything else is looking pretty good. Okay, so... Dragon Wars, dialogues, level design, artificial intelligence. Uh, it's text-based. So I'm pretty sure that artificial intelligence doesn't need to be that great. Look, look, we'll give it that. Level design has got to be great. First, dialogues have to be great as well. So great dialogue and pretty decent level design. Okay, that seems like it'd be fair enough. So we'll do that and great. So far, so good. No bugs. Only one bug to kink out so far. That's good. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. 
You will also see the graphic type when you select your defined game. This is just to remind you of their choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Yeah, so we got text base. Sound, do we want to go with basic? Basic sounds? Eh, I don't even know if I have to go with basic sound. I'm just going to drop that sound level. Yeah, I'm going to drop that down there. Graphic world design has to be crazy. Graphic, I don't even know. Look, that's fine. I mean, you know what? Graphics aren't even really that... Oh, the decisions. You know what? I will pay for graphics. We'll get better sound, I guess. There. Why in a text? Who knows? Who knows? We'll give you great dragon roars, apparently. Oh, there go the bugs. The development of your game is now complete. You can press finish button to publish your game, but should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Leasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating. Should only even consider that if you need cash and can't afford to wait. Well, we are fixing them bugs. Okay, we're still getting design points. Pretty sweet. All right, we're doing it. So this should be coming out. The development of your game has now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve skill. When development is complete, you'll be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got that and that. Game engine? Okay, that's all my experience being gained. Nice. Pretty good in dialogue. Artificial intelligence, blah, blah, blah. Sounds. Nice. Okay, let's release this thing. Good judgment. Create a game with a good theme genre combination. Your game is now complete and we'll hand it off to the publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. You have finished your first game! While you develop the game, you also gain research points. You can also use points to unlock new options for future games. To bring up the research menu, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the actions menu. Nice. The first reviews for your newly released game, Dragon Wars, came in. Oh, what is this? Oh, no! Horrible bin material. Oh, no. Well, here we get disappointing. Oh, three... Oh, a pretty bad game hero. Well, at least you didn't fail me. And medieval and strategy is a great combination by all games. I think they're being sarcastic. Well, so much for that. We are going to develop a new game. We pick a topic. Go with sports. Uh, boxing. Why not? Uh, can we go action boxing or what? Action something. You know what? Let's just see. Action sports. I sports simulation. I don't even know. Let's do simulation. I guess. Platform. Who can we pick? Oh, so many questions. Go with PC. It's still cheap. Um, what kind of game? <laughs> uh, Joe's boxing. I suppose. I don't even know. It's a thing. <laughs> Look, it, it's Joe's boxing. We're not even going to question it. Uh, Text-based. We will give it graphics. Oh my goodness, that's going to be costly. Visual Fun, a newcomer in the gaming industry, has just released their first game, Dragon Wars. The game got generally low scores from reviewers, but with a bit of experience, we are sure that we'll see a better games from Visual Fun in the future. <laughs> oh man, that is terrible. Okay, so, Joe's Boxing Sports Simulation. I mean, it, it's sports. Does it really have to have story and questing? I don't think so. The engine has to be good, and the gameplay has to be good. I'm thinking that's what we need for, uh, for Stage 1. Okay, let's put that thing in there. Dragon War sold 811 units for its first week on the market. Is Ooh, that's, that's a decent amount. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sale graph in the top right of the screen. Gotcha. Well, oh, we're getting some money back. I'm liking that. Development stage two. Dialogues, not so much. We'll do that low. Uh, artificial intelligence has to be good with design. Does it really have to be that? Yeah, we just 
bump down the dialogue a little bit. Dialogue not so important. Artificial intelligence really important. We'll do that. And how is this looking? Come on, Dragon Wars, you can do it. I'm counting on you to, to, to bring home the bread. Ooh, look at all that stuff popping up. Oh, yeah. Development stage three. Uh, not so much on world design. Sound, yeah. Graphics, yeah, we gotta make it look good. Eh, I guess that'd be good. And yeah, we're gonna give you all the graphics. Okay, that'll do. All right, boxing. Come on, Joe's boxing. It's up to you. Looks like Dragon Wars is bottoming out. Oh, if we can just release this pretty soon before it ends, we may have something. Come on, fix those bugs. Fix them all. Yes, yes. Away with all the bugs. Can we get anything else from it? Any kind of design or technology? Dragon Wars is now off the market. It sold 2,928 units. Generating, wow, 20,517 sales. Okay, well, go get them, Joe's Boxing. Let's see what we get in experience. New record, yes. That is awesome. And engine, gameplay, everything's looking good. So far, so good. Joe's Boxing could be a knockout. Oh, yes. Yes. Release that game. 